So the first question then, paper one, 2018 National 5, add these mixed numbers together. Well, one's a mixed number, the other one's just a fraction. Two marks. Now, there's no need to change them both into single fractions. In other words, to change that mixed number into an improper fraction. Unless, of course, you want to do more arithmetic than's necessary. You can add up the whole number of parts, that simply comes to two, and then add the two fractions together. The two fractions, you can keep them separate, I usually put them together, would require a denominator of 15, something that 3 and 5 both will divide into. So 15 will do. If you choose a bigger number than 15, you just have more cancelling to do at the end. Then change them as appropriate into equal fractions. So 3 has been multiplied by 5 to make 15, so 5 times the top makes a 5. 5 has been multiplied by 3, unsurprisingly, to make 15. 3 times the top is 12. So when you add these together, since they're both 15 so it'll be a single fraction out of 15, but 5 and 12 actually make 17. It's top heavy. It's improper. So extract a whole number from that, taking 15 of those parts, adds 1 to the whole number, leaving just 2 parts behind. So 3 and 2 fifteenths. Well, number two then, for three marks, it says expand and simplify. Well, you could write that the long way of 3x times a bracket plus 1 times a bracket, but you should be able just to do it by inspection. 3x is going to multiply both of those, so it'll be 3x times the x, that's 3x squared, and 3x times 1 is 3x, but it says subtract, so minus 3x. Now the 1 is going to multiply them both, 1 times x is x, 1 times 1 is 1, but that's negative, and that's positive, so minus 1. The 2 wants to multiply both of them, so the 2 times the x squared is 2x squared, and the 2 times the 5 is 10, that one's negative, so negative 10. Now it's just a case of adding up all the bits. x squares, I've got two of them, 3 plus 2. The only signs that matter are the signs immediately in front of the numbers, not any of the intervening signs. 3 plus 2 is 5, 5x squared. x's, there's a negative 3 plus 1. That's negative 2x. Numbers. So the two numbers here, negative 1 and negative 10, they're both going back. Go one back and another 10 back. That's minus 11. In the number three, it says solve algebraically this system of equations. Algebraically means you can't use trial and error. You'll have to show the steps. Well, the first thing is to have a plan. Which one do you want to get rid of? It's always better to pick the ones that have got opposite signs because then you can add them to make it disappear. That's always safer than subtracting them. So I think I will go for the y's here. So this is my plan. I'm going to eliminate y by doing this. I've got equation one and I've got equation two. If I can make them both into the same number and add them, they'll disappear. Well, 5 and 2 both divide into 10. So if I do equation 1 times 2 and equation 2 times 5, all should be well. And then I just add them up. Right, so it's double this. 8x plus 10y is negative 6. 5 times this, 30x minus 10y equals 25, and of course that's what you wanted. The y's disappear, just leaving you when you add them with 38x equals, now 25, take away 6 is 19. Horrible looking numbers. But when you take that 38 across, that actually cancels down because 19 goes into 38 twice. So the answer is x equals a half. Then go back to whichever one you prefer to find y from. I know it's got a bigger number, but at least it's not got a negative. Maybe I'll go back to number 1 now, and I'm going to substitute x equals a half in 1. I already said it there. Ah, mess. So that means number 1 now reads 4 times a half plus 5y equals negative 3, just using that for 4 times a half. Well, 4 times a half is 2. So 2 plus 5y is negative 3. Take the 2 across, subtract 2, negative 5, divide by the 5, negative 1.
x is a half, y is negative 1. And you should always check it in the one that you didn't use in this part. This says 6 halves are 3. Negative 2 times negative 1 is a plus 2. 3 plus 2 is 5, so all's well. Number 4 then. u is given by this column vector here. u plus some other vector is given by this column vector here. You have to figure out this one. What's that missing one? What's v? What's been added? You could almost just do it by inspection and say, well, if that's u and you add on v and end up with this, what have you added on to get those numbers? 1, you must have added 5. 5, you must have taken off 9. 1, you must have added 2. You could do that. Maybe I'll just set it out. V would have to be U plus V. Take away the U. So it's going to be U plus V. It's just what you would do by inspection, only setting out formally. Take away this one. So that finally v is going to be 6 take away 1, 5, negative 4 take away 5, negative 9, 3 take away 1, 2, there you go.